What's up y'all? Today we're going to be installing Weston HDX drop steps on my man Devin's first truck. We're super excited. It's a 2015 Chevy Silverado Texas Edition crew cab. These same steps will work on multiple year models. I'm going to put it down in the description. Y'all go check it out. Stick around guys. We're going to show you exactly how easy it is to update the steps on your truck. All right guys, out of the box, this is what it looks like. These are wrapped pretty well and looks like styrofoam plastic. All the hardware is gonna be in this box, guys. There's gonna be six different brackets, A, B, and C, one for each side. Real quick, guys, if you have a Steelcraft Elevation front replacement bumper like this one, I think these steps match perfectly. All right, so in the box, we've got a DC, a C, a PC, two Bs, and two A's. Then you got your hardware kit here and then instructions. In this hardware kit, you're gonna find some U-nut clips and that's gonna be for locations that don't have nuts already welded to the rear side of where these bolts are gonna go. You'll see once you get underneath there, your truck might be a little bit different than ours. We've already looked underneath there and it looks like we've got two locations that have a welded nut behind it and two locations that don't. The locations that don't are gonna use these. If it's already got a nut, just use the bolt that's included. We're gonna use a ratchet with a 13 millimeter socket. And this one's important guys, a 13 millimeter ratchet wrench like that. Pro tip guys, the holes on the bottom of your truck are gonna be full of crud, man. Paint, dirt, whatever. Do yourself a favor before you start juggling something heavy up underneath there like these brackets that you wanna tighten, take that bolt, the M8 is what we're using here, hand tighten it, take a socket, tighten it through there. That's gonna push all the crud and debris and junk out of that hole pull it back out and that way next time you get up underneath there it's going to be much easier to, to get those bolts started by hand we're going to put our brackets on but first we want to check for welded nuts and any place that doesn't have a nut we're going to put these little u clamps on before i forget to tell you guys there's two different size bolts here there's a long and a short m8 the long bolts are for your brackets long bolts brackets the short bolts are going to be the ones that go directly from the brackets into your steps First, we're gonna put bracket B in the front hole on the driver's side. All these brackets, guys, we're gonna tighten them, but we're not gonna cinch them way down. That way we've got some adjustment when we put the step on. Next, we have DC. That stands for driver's side center. On our truck, the rear driver's side does not have a nut welded to the back here. It also does not have a nut welded in here like the other ones did in the front. You're gonna take this rubber piece off right here and you're gonna slide one of these things in there. The last bracket on the driver's side is gonna be bracket A and that's gonna to mount to these clips that we just put on. If you notice, this bracket is gonna mount on top, not on bottom of the rocker panel. Next, me and my man Mason, we're gonna put the step in place while Devin tightens the screws on the backside. From underneath, you may have to wiggle the steps a little bit and the brackets to get them all lined up, but they will go. That's why we didn't tighten them down all the way. We've got the bolts on the rear of the steps tightened down. Now we're just gonna check to make sure that it's straight and it doesn't need any more tweaking before we tighten it all the way up. Devin's tightening down the last of the bolts, getting them torqued down really nice, but man, that's looking good. Look at what I'm talking about, guys, with this elevation steel craft. Look at the lines on this. Now look at the lines on these. Tell me that doesn't look good. Devin's already got the brackets in place. I want to let you guys know which brackets are which. So on the front, of, starting with the front of the truck, which one is that one, bud? Uh, the B bracket. So that's B. Center is just regular old C on the passenger side of this Silverado. A is going to be on the back. So passenger side front is B, C, A. Aside from the brackets, guys, everything's the same on the passenger side. So just repeat the steps you did over there and you're good to go.
All right, we got to test them. You want to do the honors, bud? Yes, sir. Works pretty well. Feels sturdy? Yes, sir. Awesome. That was pretty easy. Mm -hmm. On a scale of 1 to 10, what do you think? How hard? Probably about a 4 or 5. 4 or 5, guys. It really wasn't that bad. It took us maybe a couple hours. Really wasn't a bad job. Yeah. And, man, I love it. I think it just changed the whole stance of the truck. What do you think, bud? I agree. My man here did almost all of the install himself. I helped him out, but he did almost all of it. Yep. So good job, buddy. Thank you. Are you happy we ended up going with this model? Yes, sir. It really, really complements this Steelcraft front bumper. I'm telling you guys, it looks like they were a set. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. God bless.